And then at this point, Chipotle hit me and my stomach started hurting. <laughs> it was it was hurting so much. I was like holding like butt cheeks clench kind of thing. I had to wait for the for the the Uber to get me in like three minutes. I'm like, oh god. And the 15 minute ride back. It was so dreadful, it was painful. Five minutes left in the trip though, um, it kind of disappeared. So I was like, I was like in a weird position in the backseat, like clenching. <laughs> It disappeared, and then once I entered my to hotel room, it came back, but I was in the hotel room. <laughs> I didn't, yo. I was like, oh god. I, ha I had the buns of steel, right? So I, I, I held it in. It was pretty painful, though. I felt, I felt like, I felt cramps. <laughs> um, but after that, I relaxed. I showered right after. I'm like, yo, I'm just gonna shower. And then I heard um, in Melly Discord that people were drinking at Hard Rock Cafe. And and I wasn't sure if I wanted to go out again because I was tired and stuff. And my feet hurt. And then an hour an hour later, I took another shower because my feet was hurting. It felt nice to just shower. A hot shower it relaxes my feet. And then Jason mentioned that, yo, he's going to go dancing with his friends. I'm like, yo, I love dancing. And then, and then he's like, you want to go <laughs> kind of thing. Um, and he's like, warning, it's just me and my friends, uh, Melly and the group, they're, they're staying at, uh, Hard Rock. And then I went there and apparently at first they, they were going to go to Plux, which is a nightclub. But when they got there, um, they said it was closed. I was still in my hotel, so I was fine. It was closed. So then he was looking up another place. Found another place which was like a restaurant slash bar. The bar was like on top, and the restaurant's not even that big. So it was um, apparently they have a dancing thing up there. It's called Roots Rustic Root, right? And they told me the flux apparently was free, but this place was ten dollars for guys and free for the girls. So um, I mean ten bucks, whatever. I get to dance. I pretty much got there. It was actually kind of crowded when he when he told me to come it wasn't crowded but when i got there it was pretty crowded like there was no room to like move my legs kind of thing but in the end i ended up just sitting they, they did find a table so they were just sitting there and i was sitting next to uh ling i think that's her name or lynn i don't know what her name is and then michael is the one across he was actually standing up like moving along you know just always dancing kind of thing and jay singh was just chilling on the side you know like yeah um he did bring a ukulele that's what i think he was actually going around with the ukulele having people sign it and oh yeah um melly did give me these stickers these are pretty cool uh let's see right here. so that's her that's her vtuber uh character by the way Oh, I think I have some videos actually. Hold on, let's see. My bad. Let's uh, get back over here. There you go. No, no break dancing. I'm, I'm in my seat. I'm dancing in my seat. I was like, oh, 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 oh. my seat. All right. I'm pretty much sitting here. Kind of fuzzy. This is barely lighting. But yeah, it's pretty crowded now. This place like not that big. So I was just pretty much just dancing in my seat the whole time. So after that, we did go to, we did leave like part way because then I think Lynn wanted a hot dog. So um, apparently, Jay Singh had a hot dog before that on the way to the place, and then they want it was like one of those food stands hot dogs. So it's like those ladies just. They're sitting uh, on the side with the cart and it had hot dogs and it was like wrapping bacon or whatever. I don't know. Um, but then everything on it, I think it was like eight bucks though for the hot dog. And then we did, they ended up just sitting on the side. They were sitting on the sidewalk. Yeah, pretty much New York dog, didn't she? Uh, like everything on it. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff. Um, while Michael was eating his hot dog, because he got one too, he was like dropping a lot of stuff while he was eating it. It was pretty messy. A lot of, it was a lot on the dog. Um, so while they were sitting, we were talking about brunch. So they decided, yo, 10 a.m. Um, Jason was like dreading that, to be honest. <laughs> um, 
But then we decided the the place was called Morning Glory was the place. And then after that, we decided they decided to walk back to the hotel. And I have nothing else to do. I'm just gonna walk back to walk it off, right? Uh, their hotel was actually kind of far. It was like eight blocks ish, like north or right ish. And then um, we got to the hotel, their hotel, and then we pretty much called Uber from the hotel. And from there, we were trying to figure out because then Lynn actually her hotel was like near Little Italy, and I, I was thinking it would it be this cheaper if I went with her and then get an Uber from her place. So um, apparently it was kind of the same price, so there's no point in that. And it was like twenty something bucks. At first, when I opened it, it was like thirty four dollars, and it wasn't even that far. But obviously, because it's like two or three a.m., um, expensive. I came home, I think around three actually, and then I showered again because it was it was dancing. I got sweaty. But this night, I slept fine. I didn't need a light or anything. I freaking KO'd, and during the whole time. Since, you know, I hit the hotel, I got to make my money's work. I have my AC running at 65 degrees all the time. <laughs> I'm not paying for literacy. I'm, I'm paying for the stay. I need my AC. It feels nice, right? I Googled uh, between 60 and 67 degrees is like the, the perfect temperature to sleep in, I guess, is what I heard. So I did 65. And then while I was sleeping, though, random fact. I was thinking like, yo, if I pick like some random number, would it be like some random ghost pop up? Like if I pick 66 degrees or something, like I would think of going like arbitrary 62 degrees or some weird arbitrary number in between that. And then something weird will happen. I don't know. But let's see if I, if I get back here, is there another video? What's the next video? Oh yeah. So this is the next day, right? I pretty much woke up at 8.30. Uh, my alarm was at 8.45. I was ready to check out. It's the last day now. I actually got a mouthwash from CVS. Because <laughs> I didn't have a mouthwash to bring. Because the one I have is from Costco and it's freaking huge. So the last day, getting ready to check out. Putting everything away. It's kind of like my setup now. It's pretty much kind of the same. <laughs> my clothes is on the floor though. I'm probably going to put that in the bag. Um, where all my snacks are kind of at, just like the laundry stuff. I don't know, man. My I, hotel I, I was nicer bag. than her hotel. But... <laughs> They're closer though. I got this toothbrush from the dentist and I'm using it disposable. I use electric toothbrush at home and... Oh, I forgot to bring in my shaver, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't... Yo, my my my, my uh, shave right here. I got pretty pretty uh hairy. I feel, I feel so tired. I pretty much slept at like three or four, and I'm up at nine. Oh man! At least I was able to actually sleep this time, unlike yeah. yesterday. Yesterday, yeah, last Monday, last night yeah. or whatever. I kept waking up every hour, so uh. Yeah. Yeah, pretty scruffy. I'm gonna go brunch with some folks and um that's my gaspy we'll see, we'll see how things go i don't even know i still gotta meet a few more people uh around the con so um maybe we'll have more pictures yeah so at this point i pretty much checking out right and and i was driving to the to park my car somewhere like near little italy i actually parked like a couple blocks far away where i was actually in a residential area and there was no pay parking so that was good i saved money on that i think it was like third street and like grape or something the grape and third kind of right there and i saw this paper on my windshield i was like oh shoot did i get a ticket i was driving and i was like yo did i get a ticket and and it was actually a warning from my hotel saying that yo in order to park here you need a permit the part, the permit was on the dashboard where you, right next to where you put it. And then they said, yo, I got your card recorded, your picture and video proof. And then in my mind, I was like, yo, if you look at the video and picture, you notice that it was at the dashboard, man. I just left the dashboard since day one. And apparently they were so blind. They didn't see it, man. 
But good thing it was a warning and not a real ticket or anything, so it was whatever. Um, so at this point, I actually checked in my Discord and Jason was actually offline. He was still offline. So I got worried because I was like, yo, he hasn't even woke up yet. It was almost 10 o'clock. He's not even up. Or it was like it was like 9 30, 9 40 or something. He's still offline. And then by 9 45, he was like, Oh yeah, I'm up now. I'm, we're getting ready. We're gonna head over. I was like, Oh, okay. And I found out that he meant to say 10 30. Or they meant to say 10 30 meetup time. But um Lynn wasn't able to make it. So it was just me, Michael, and Jason. And when I actually got there, here we can uh go over here. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Bring my hoodie, but I actually my using it as a pillow pillowcase. <laughs> Pretty much, I use it as a pillowcase. I don't trust the pillow, so my face is gonna be on it, right? Yeah. So this is Little Italy, right? Um, there's actually was like a I don't know a guy over here that's, that seemed to be a veteran or war thing. He was like, "Yo, I." He's like yelling in the middle of the street, like, "Hey, I've been here. I got. I teach. Do you want me to teach your?" son how to fight and stuff like that it was crazy war blah 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 he started yelling like he's freaking pissed off at like us or something and like yo i was out in the war and i'm like fighting these kids and i'm like yo your, your son and whatever and in my mind i was like i don't have a son <laughs> but anyways um here's the video italy right now and i'm just waiting for some friends for some brunch to be honest i don't even know what it's supposed to be morning glory and it's supposed to be here but I don't even see it. So I'm looking for it. Um, maybe they changed their name. So there is a place called Farmer's Table. Right here. That, that's the address. It is Apparently, brunch. Morning Glory was upstairs. Uh, in the end, we did eat. end up eating downstairs with that Farmer's Table with also brunch. Right? So, waiting. I end up I'm waiting. I'm just waiting. There. That's pretty nice. This is me waiting. There's a fountain. Uh, what's the next one? Oh, that, that's my brunch, guys. You get to stare at it. I got my meatball hash with pesto. It's pretty much pesto and spinach. And then this homemade potatoes. I got three eggs. It's three eggs uh, over hard. So I guess they blended it. And I got sourdough. It was pretty good. I have to say. It was pretty good. But I think it was like 15 bucks. And then the Uber was around $8 from where I was. Uh, we were talking while sitting here. Uh, apparently, Jason is from Texas, and Michael was from Washington. Yeah, it was. It was. It was pretty good, though. It was pretty good. It's like this fan. It's like a fancy breakfast, man. And apparently, if you get Uber, um, they don't actually like it. It was supposed to be nine dollars or something for my trip, but since they usually check. By the time that for the fair, when the drive is over, so technically it, the price could be higher for all I know. And actually, my ride actually was ten fifty base instead of actually nine dollars, which was messed up because when I clicked on it and did the ride, it was nine dollars. But during the ride, the price increased, so that's how they do it. They usually by the end of the ride, they check the price, and that's that's the price for the ride. I didn't like that, but. Apparently, Jason and Michael met through streaming, right? So um, that's how they met. And then after that, we actually split an Uber to the convention. It was like three bucks a person, not so bad. Then we split ways, and I went to exit X, uh, exit H again. Um, so because then that's where there's a lot of grassy area and stuff. I get to sit down. Um, I got there. It was pretty chill. I was pretty much just sitting there. Um, just contacting people, see when they're free and stuff like that. Most of them were busy, so I was just waiting there. And then while I was waiting and sitting there, I sat on the floor and stuff like that. Um, I think there's a video. Yeah. Sitting on the floor. And that's his place. it's hot, so I'm just sitting here. It's shady. Everyone's it's busy, in shade. So I'm just chilling. I'm tired. My feet hurt. <laughs> I was gonna stand, but... Yeah, I'm just sitting on the floor here. Nice shade. Pretty good. Um, so during that point, I was actually going through Twitter and while going through Twitter, I see all the controversy, all the problems, like someone getting sexual assaulted, uh, someone broke their back, uh, the phone pits, you know, all, all that issues. I was just going through Twitter and I'm like, oh my God, 
I didn't experience this myself, but all, yeah. <laughs> That's why right now there's like what hashtag boycott Twitch or something going on. Yeah, I see. I, I was going through all of that. And I'm like, oh, damn. One of them is the adult star that broke her back. And then I think another time a guy I broke her ankle or a lady broke her ankle. Yeah, the fake foam pit. Not even. Apparently, under it is cement or something, right? So it's just one layer of foam and then cement. <laughs> so you're like, you straight up get it landing on cement. That's just troublesome. Um. So, and then, yeah, a lot of sexual assaults. Like, oh, this one guy tried to kiss. Um, without consent, just kissing girls and stuff like that. And one of them is like a worker for Twitch or Twitch staff or something. I right. oh my god. But later, did um, Joe Mar did have free time and came out. Oh yeah, I also do Twitter. We found some nice things where my name was actually on a til tilify wall. If you guys don't remember, um, back when I did a charity stream for Black Lives Matter, right? And then we blasted that. This was my stream team, and I blasted that goal right out of the park, right? And so my name was there. It's pretty. I think they go by how much you donated, right? The bigger the name. Yeah, it does get crazy. But yeah, Joe Mar, I think, yeah, right here. I met Joe Mar. You see his his uh, badge thing. So we chatted a bit about TwitchCon and cons in general, and apparently his work could have him go to TwitchCon or cons for free. But this one was his own personal thing. Um, and I did meet up with Tech Deck again. I don't think that's here. Oh, in between, there were uh, a lot of bikes. That is that's a bunch of motorcycles driving by. <laughs> so loud. And now there's people here. And then I met up with Tech Deck. Uh, we were trying to wait for Key Lime to come out and meet up with him. But in the end, um, Suki met up with her IRL friends. So they were like stuck in an artist alley. If only I had a ticket, we could just go in, right? But I, it would have been so much easier. <laughs> Looking back at that, but yeah, we just sat down. We just waited. Um, we were, I was waiting here and then um, waited like by the the convention center, sitting there. And then eventually, I think Tech Tech had to go help uh, his friend, so we split up later. It was actually quite a long while while we we're sitting there too. It's been like an hour or something, and. <laughs> Then Key Lime, Key Lime was uh, still busy, and then Suki got hungry, so then Key Lime went to get to the partner lounge and get some more food and stuff like that. Um, but I think eventually uh, we we talked like, though, yo, um, I was gonna meet up with JBZ first at three because he was in a line to meet Project Melody. So I'm like, um, I'm I can stay until like whatever, like three ish or something, and then. Um, soon after, I believe I met up with JBZ, right? Met up with JBZ and he actually got me this cookie run thing, right? Cookie run. Three, 3,000 crystals, man. 3,000 crystals. Yeah. Project, project melody. Um, so after that, um, it was, it was a pretty short talk, but, um, I let the key lion pie know that like, I'm probably leaving soon. So then he came out and then I'm still trying, like in the first day, I didn't get a picture with farm, <laughs> right? Uh, and his friend, I didn't get a picture. And so holy surprise came coming out with key lion was, with, was farmed easy. So I was able to get both pictures, right? Uh, in here, right? I got farm and then his friend right there. And there was another guy that I didn't know. Um, but then as we were talking and stuff, I let Professor Ragnar know that, uh, you want, yo, you want to just, uh, before you leave, you know, we can say goodbyes and stuff. So then Professor Ragnar came out and I introduced them to each other. Apparently they kind of know of each other, Professor Ragnar and Key Lime Pine, they kind of know each other. Right. But, um, it was like, you know, a brief moment, but, ne but now they know each other more and they met in person. So we talk about like, we start talking about like streaming in general, I think, uh, Professor Ragnar was talking about like the like the workshops and stuff that he's seen about like growing as a streamer. Um and then we also talk about a lot of the random goodies that they've been getting. Like Keyline had a big bag. And here is where I met Suki, right? 
I didn't actually see her face, but she had because she had a mask and she has glasses. At least I can just tell you that, right? Uh, she had a mask. So I didn't actually see her face, and I, I'm pretty sure I don't know if she wanted to like share her face or anything. So I didn't actually take a picture with her. But Key Lime has the picture with her, uh, with me in there. So um, if you decide to post it, it's gonna be there. And then I was checking up Discord, and I saw that Melly they they were planning a sushi dinner. Yeah, I mean, I actually talked with her, be like, hey, uh, I know you didn't want to show your face, but um, and that's why I didn't take a picture. But if, if I do want to share, are you guys okay? She's like, yeah, she's fine because she told me she was fine with it because she was wearing a mask. Because she was wearing a mask anyway, you can't really see her face. So she was okay if I were to share the picture. But... Yeah, so I have a dinner plan, and I also talked with Chibi with the group chat that we mentioned earlier, right? That maybe uh, asked her if she wanted to go. And uh, at the moment, I was trying to get a confirmation. Her phone died. So I didn't get an answer. Um, and it was close to the time for... We were planning for 7 o'clock uh, sushi. But the problem is, this place is called Hura Sushi. And it's like a sushi place where there's a revolving table, and you can like pick up Sushi, I think he's all you can eat too. <laughs> the only problem is that you can't make a reservation online. You have to do it in person. So I volunteered. I had nothing else to do. It was like two more hours before seven. It was like five. So I kind of volunteered to just go out there early and then just like put the reservation. Because it was actually back at Convoy Street where the Korean barbecue and stuff was. It was like four miles north. So it was like on my way home. And then I was pretty much walking to my car. Um, I was also talking with Vash to see if he's going to make it. But he's dealing with some stuff, some stuff. So he can't come by. Which is um, Vash is one of my mods. And then as we were talking uh, and going. Uh, there are some videos where I took up the street. Let's go. Yeah. Dude. Like I'm like walking all the way from convention. All the way to where I parked my car. Which is like past little italy kind of and it's been a, a long, long while i still have like five more blocks to walk but i already walked like 13 blocks so and i'm wearing a mask i don't know it's kind of smell so but yeah, yeah man, under the bridge works. let's go i have more videos here all right we're not what the hell yo i went through the, that bridge and stuff and now we're just gonna go up two more blocks turn right two blocks and then go up. That's where my car is. I kind of parked far away just because I didn't want to pay for parking. And then yeah, I just Uber the to the brunch earlier. And then now, and then I Ubered uh, with them to the con. And then I, yeah. I just, I'm out of breath, dude. <laughs> I'm right out of breath is talking and walking. Yeah, so I pretty much parked right here. That's the convention center, right? So I walk all the way down. I'll, um, after we split up right here, um, walked over here and I, apparently I walked too far because I could have just like walked through here and then walked straight down. But I walked all the way here to the child's park and I walked all the way down. And I got to here where I need to make the two block turn here and then I just parked right there. <laughs> that was a long walk. So as I was walking, right, um, pretty much um, one of the people in the discord brandon grave his name is not brandon though by the way uh but he mentioned that he can come too right and good thing i wasn't that far from him right but i want to see if he can like i don't know how busy this part of the street is so i want to see if he can like walk out a little bit so i can pick him up and get easier there wasn't that much traffic actually so the place that he was staying was over there and then i actually gotta make my way around like that <laughs> um and then I once I got to this area, I was looking for parking. And then there was like no parking. And then once I got to close to here, there was parking. I was like, oh shoot, a car coming out. I'm getting that. I'm I'm going to that. So um that that's what happened. Uh and then we actually drove up to the place. And hold and behold, there was two hour wait time, right? And then we were like, oh, why don't we put our names in first and whatever and figure it out? But the problem was the maximum number of people you can reserve or whatever put in was seven. We had nine people. 
So, uh, at this point, I'm like, oh god, uh, that <laughs> that's gonna be a problem. And so we decided to go to a different place, uh, close by, and then like, why don't we get hot pot or something? And then we found this place called Ying Ting Hot Pot or whatever. And at that moment, we actually found this plaza. The parking was was kind of bad too and whatnot. Yo, what's up, man? But I did get lucky. There were like three spots at that plaza, which was like easy parking. So we just parked right there. Um, later, later in the night, though, it did get like completely full and people were having trouble parking. But um, as we go to the Ying Ting, Yin Tin uh, Hot Pot, we actually walked by because we were looking for hot pot place. Uh, there was a guy sitting in front of a restaurant. And he was like, oh, yeah, what are you looking for? Are you here for uh, hot pot and stuff? And then he's like, yeah, hot pot. Um, Ying Ting, I was like, oh, Ying Ting is over there. Um, and then he asked, like, yo, by the way, um, just curious. How do you find that place? And then um, Brandon, Brandon Grave was like, uh, this, this, we just look it up. Uh, it was the first one on the list and stuff like that. And like, oh, okay, okay, thank you. And then we walked over there. That place was pretty much like, a chipotle looking thing like a noodle place for chipotle you pretty much uh go in you order your noodles and stuff like that and <laughs> you order noodles and you pretty much sat down right you pretty much sat down like in chipotle the chipotle is like not big right it's, there's no reservation or anything so it's not a good place to pick your, your noodles or anything um so we went out and thought, why don't we go back to the other hot pot place because i did see hot pot on the way we're walking right where that guy was um, so we walked by and then we saw this other place called Spicy City. Spicy City, we thought was the hot pot place because it was actually right next to it. And then it actually had like hot pot on there, but it was like, it was more like a Sichuan or Chinese restaurant, but it had a hot pot in it. Oh, like, maybe this is a hot pot place. Went in and, and it was like, yo, you see a reservation for seven. And then as we got out and then it was like, oh yeah, yeah, seven o'clock. Cause we were like out early still. Seven o'clock for nine people. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Um, we went out and then I was like, and then we walked around, wait a bit, and then I looked at this place next door. I was like, wait, I think that is the hot pot place. This place seems like a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> uh, and then it was like, oh shoot, we should go check and then check the other place to see if it's like empty and stuff. Um, at that point, it was actually pretty empty, right? This is the inside. It was actually pretty empty at the moment. So uh, we decided to, oh, actually, the picture. Here's the picture. It looked like pretty empty, right? Um, that was at six o'clock and so we were like, okay, we can probably do this and then we can go. It was awkward. He went in to cancel it. So, um, it wasn't on my part cause I get, I would get anxiety trying to cancel something I just booked, <laughs> but yeah, this is the real hot pot place. And, and so, um, we just pretty much just sat, there's the waiting couch right here. We were pretty much sitting right there is where I take the picture. And so far as we get closer to seven. It started getting full. I, we, I, we did talk with that guy. He came back. He was like, oh, yeah, you're back. Like, yeah, yeah we want a hot pot place. And that place was like, whatever. It's like, oh, and then he talked with us like, yo, why did you decide to choose that place over here? And then I actually Googled it and our restaurant was on there first. Not being biased or anything, you know, kind of thing. Like, why would you choose that place over our place? And then um, my, my friend was like, yeah, we wanted some place that had like individual seafood kind of options because uh, Melly only like, doesn't eat like red meat or anything, but she eats seafood. Um, so we were trying to find a place with that. And it's like, oh, okay. And then he's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, can we book a place for seven? I think he was like the boss or something. Like he was like in the, he was the only one in like a dress shirt and pants. And, and it was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then we, he came and make, keep coming by to make sure. Cause we were just sitting there. A lot of the workers were also coming by and asking us like, yo, do you get seated? Like, yeah, we did it for seven and stuff like that for like nine people. Um, and then he seemed pretty nice. He's like, he wanted to make sure that we got a table, you know, at the time comes like good service. Like, oh yeah, that nine people. Yeah. Good, good, good. Like he even did his hands like this that kind of thing. Um, and, um, as the time got closer, uh, the lady came by like, oh yeah, you should put yourself in the wait list. Uh, but like, yeah, we talked to the guy over there in the end. He was, there's a laptop over here. Right? I think that's about. I don't know if it's laptop, but he was sitting here and then he left later. Um, but he was still in around in the area. And so we actually did get a table eventually on the other side. He 
there was a table saved for us, but we couldn't see it because it was like blocked out by this this area here all the way down. Um, so we didn't see it because all the tables start getting filled because we thought maybe he saved us this table because it would make sense. But over there, it was also this this side as well. Um, but yeah, it started getting full everywhere. But then there was empty stair like in the middle. And ho and behold, yo, look at look at the. <laughs> There was nine of us. Uh, we pretty much have two tables. Um, this is what Brandon Graves' picture took. I'll see you next to him. And then across from us was Serge um, and his wife. But um, pretty much, yeah. I don't think they want to be shown or anything. So that that's that. And so we got the meat and stuff. And then they have this little, little figurine that actually sits there. And it floats in and it gets submerged into the soup. But yeah, um, they didn't. We didn't want lamb, so we got all beefs. These are all just beef, and it was pretty cheaper uh, here. Uh, this is the angle before we got the soup. So we actually got the house spicy um, medium. Dude, the peppercorns on in this one is too small. It would get stuck to all the meat, and I would eat into it. It's so sour, man. Um, this side was the po pork bone soup. It was pretty good. This is pretty good. But yeah, and then this is my angle of the shot, right? I didn't get the full thing. Um, we also ordered some some vegetables and some bean curd and also some scallops. This scallop was actually in the shell. This this thing is actually a shell bowl. I should have took a picture off the side, but it was a shell bowl and the scallops are pretty huge. Um, is that the last of that? Yeah, okay, so that's the last of the pictures that I have. But we can continue on with the story. So it was actually um, the peppercorns and stuff. Um, at the end, at the end though, of eating, apparently there was a sauce bar as an option on the the menu. It was like three fifty a person, and we didn't know. And we went over there to the sauce bar, and they have like. They have like watermelons, they have like sesame balls, they have grass jelly, dessert and stuff like that. We thought that was part of like the all, the all you can eat stuff or whatever, but not. So they charged us extra. Um, it's not too bad. But I, I would like to go there again sometime. It's not. It's you, you pretty much pay. It's not all you can eat. You pay pretty much for the portion. So you like, uh, I think that that whole ring thing was $24, $25 for the ring. Um, and then the, the, you order the, the vegetable stuff, you order the bean curry, you order the scallops. Uh, I also ordered myself some tripe. Uh, the other two didn't eat tripe, but me uh, and Brandon Grave did try the tripe. And then near the end, um, I was pretty tired and then I was actually closer to my home. So um, they actually wanted some gelato. I was trying to find a place in Gelato. Um, I think they decided to go somewhere south, and then later they, they didn't know where to go. Like an hour later, they were like north, south. I don't know where they were going. But I already left, so I went home. And that was pretty much my trip. I came home like super tired. My feet were tired and sore. I pretty much took a shower and I kind of went to bed. It was fun. Uh, next time I would probably take a ticket, even just to like go in in case to meet up people. It's easier to meet up people. If you have a ticket, um, it says when I didn't have a ticket, it was hard to meet up people. <laughs> Cause then obviously you had to take the time to walk out and then there's some stuff happening and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty much my adventure.